this is just a little bit about me as a trainer and a consultant and again not going to spend much of time on this because i think uh, a lot of you can know about me from the internet very easily so this is just for your information and maybe something that a lot of you will not enjoy reading because again it is all bit of boring text okay so anyhow uh, what we are going to talk about today is digital marketing and that's a little more interesting than reading about me for sure uh, a very interesting field a very uh, vibrant field right now and most of you i believe are uh, either trying to get into the field or well would hope to get into it some day so through this webinar of mine i hope that i'll be able to answer a few queries that you guys might have uh, the chat window is always open so please make sure that you post your questions uh, as and when you feel like uh, once the presentation comes towards the end uh, i'll try to answer all your questions i'll try to take all your questions as well so uh, please bear with me on that there might be a lot of queries that you might have and as your presentation goes on they might increase so uh, we'll try to accommodate all of them as we go on right so let's move ahead okay now this is where the interesting part begins right what happened in marketing really now as i have been saying or as i said in the beginning before we had a little bit of a break that everything has evolved over the years and so has marketing now earlier we were all old and we were all doing the same thing over and over again but things somehow changed and things changed for the better so every brand every individual started doing things in a more profound manner marketing also was no different marketing just changed for the better in such a way that a lot of positive things started to happen in marketing now what exactly happened and well how things changed let's try and have a look at that as we go on right so the first thing is what changed in marketing as we were looking through our telescopes of marketing and as we were trying to figure out where we were going this happened now most of you would probably remember this and i hope you do because otherwise there is no point me adding it here but well yes you had tv ads and print ads and everything or mere paas kya hai i have digital marketing right and that's what happened that's what changed for us now this was a very subtle but a very effective change that happened in digital marketing everything that we were doing in marketing earlier was not just conventional but it had got to a point where it wasn't reaching the customer as much as it should have and there had to be something that triggered a change that triggered something more interesting something more appealing to the people and that's where digital marketing came into the picture now this ad apart and you know the the fun side of it the, the you know the jokes apart but i think what happened through digital marketing was that it it sort of changed the way you dealt with people the one to one conversation that you had while marketing was more indirect earlier now it is more direct and with the help of lot of platforms and lot of options but what does this field do and how does this field come about and what happens in this field as we go on let's try and have a look at it so again this is just what changed but then what happened later and how the change affected us let's try and have a look at that now the first thing is or the first thing that you might ask to yourself is because a lot of people have heard about digital marketing and a lot of people have heard different things about digital marketing it's always unclear as to what it takes to get into this field right what happens in this field what you know what takes place in this field and how do i get into it that's a question a lot of people have asked me well this might just try and answer it for you a little i'm just going to go one by one here as i just put them all up on screen okay so the first thing is well <clears throat> the in demand professional now digital marketing as such is not just something which is on the upswing for a long, long time now but it's only going to go further up and what it does is that it creates a lot of new jobs every year because every sector every industry is going to need digital marketing no matter what they do you can 
take retail, you can take hospitality, you can take IT, you could take any other field, any other sector. Everyone nowadays has a separate digital marketing team in-house. And what that means is that the jobs are expected to double by 2020, as it says there. And not, again, it's, it's not that people are not there who could do digital marketing, but again, there are very few people who do it well or who have mastered the art of digital marketing. And hence, the amount of professionals are lower and the jobs are higher. So there is a big gap that has to be bridged by a lot of people. Again, a career which or where the demand exceeds supply. So in a way, that is good news for anyone who wants to get into this field in the near future. And there are a lot of areas to explore. Digital marketing offers multiple options where you can explore different things wherever or whichever interests you. There are things like social media, there are things like content writing, there are things like SEO, SEM, and a lot of other things which are there in digital marketing. Whichever you feel you're most comfortable with, you can actually explore that. And there are very, very few fields out there which give you that option. Because in many of the fields that we get into normally, whether it is IT or retail or anything else, you would only get specific roles to do. But digital marketing can offer you multiple roles to do. And wherever you want to switch, you can actually switch, which is a very big advantage. And yes, everyone needs an expert. So every sector these days, these days needs a digital marketing expert. And that is something no one can escape. So there are many more working options available. Because at the end of the day, many of these sectors, or in fact, every sector out there, will need people who can do digital marketing for them. We, uh, as I've been saying right from the beginning, we have come a long way from just being, uh, you know, a company that markets our brand to people out there. It now has to be an interaction. Digital marketing creates awareness, and awareness is what people require now. Whether to buy a service or whether to buy a product is secondary. But at the same time, everyone needs a new way to market, and that's what digital marketing does which also results in creating more and more jobs for people who want to get into this field. And of course, you always have an option to kickstart on your own. So digital marketing also allows you to start working on your own. You can start working by taking up small time projects, trying your hand at probably branding yourself to begin with. But any which way, there are always those options which are available. And that, again, is a big, big advantage of this particular field. Not many fields out there will give you that advantage. So to begin with, these four pointers or these four very, very important aspects to digital marketing make it a very, very interesting field. Let's move on and explore something else as we go on. Right, so first step towards the digital world. Again, something very interesting here. What do you need? What, what actually is required to be a part of a field like digital marketing, right? What, what would set you flying apart from here? If that's what you want to ask, well, I have an answer for that. Now, there are four things which will be extremely important for anyone who wants to get into digital marketing. And this is something I've always believed in as a, as a person who has done digital marketing over the years, that there are only these four points that matter. People might tell you a lot of other things and well, everyone has their own opinions. But for me, from whatever experience I have, in the field, well, these four pointers will be your stepping stones. Why do I say be curious as a first point? Well, marketing is evolving, as I said. And yes, digital marketing as a field will require you to be curious and think intelligently. Now, why is that important? Why is it important to be curious? Earlier, marketing was simple. You would give someone a flyer or give someone a brochure, they would read it and they would decide to buy a product or not to buy a product. But it's not that simple anymore, is it? It's now about having a conversation in such a way where you would actually create awareness about a product, generate interest, have an interaction, and that eventually leads to sales. 
and that leads to repeated sales as well in the future and that has been observed by by a lot of brands over the years and hence it is very very important to be curious it's important to think in a way the audience thinks and that's going to give you the long term benefit in the digital world you can't think in the conventional way now that time is gone that opportunity is gone so now it's about thinking to interact thinking to talk thinking to provide something that no one else is providing and then you are a winner secondly be creative it's very very important to be creative with a lot of competition which is there online more than ever before now i think everyone would like to be creative everyone likes to do something which the other person cannot do and it's not about giving offers and and selling free stuff i don't think that works anymore that used to work earlier i know it the it still works to an extent you still have the discount coupons and you still have the uh, the free offers and everything else but that's not the only point that works in marketing or especially in digital marketing now it's more about being creative with the way you design your campaigns in digital marketing how much of your interaction is on the creative side how much of your ads are creative how much of whatever you do online connects with people the more answers you find to these questions the easier it becomes for you in digital marketing but it helps to be creative again lot of people have asked me whether creativity is something you can learn the good news is yes you can it takes a little bit of time to do that but once you have that creative head over your shoulders a lot of things will become easier point number 3 is researching and that's another thing which is very very important a successful marketer anyone who wants to be in marketing has to find the ability to research you must know what your competitors are doing you must know what your own brand is doing at the end of the day without knowing any of this marketing is going to be impossible so researching making the right decisions having the data to show for it will always help in digital marketing especially there is a myth that a lot of people have that advertising on social media or posting things on social media or you know doing the usual stuff works every day but that's not actually true what works with digital marketing is the idea of building concepts the idea of making a concept work the idea of making a concept believable for people that's what works in digital marketing and for that the part of research planning and strategizing is equally important and finally have passion to do something it's for you guys especially most of whom are restarting their careers now and making a switch probably into something else like digital marketing it's always important to have the passion to do something correct spend your time spend your time studying spend your time Uh, making sure that you know about the field do your research do whatever it is that is required but at the end of the day if you can do it well with enough passion i think success is not very far away and that is something which i have seen with a lot of people over the years so it's just about your dedication and about being totally involved in a field so if you can do that well your first step towards digital marketing will be successful right okay let's move on from here okay now this is another thing which a lot of people will probably end up asking me what is the scope in digital marketing again uh, a lot of people would have heard a lot of things uh, in general if i have to tell you yes there is a lot of scope in digital marketing and a lot of positive scope in digital marketing but still let's see what sort of scope you actually have and what you can do just to begin with again i'm going to go one by one i'll just load the whole thing up and then we'll discuss it so first things first now a lot of people who are just starting out in digital marketing or who would like to start out in digital marketing can begin simply by becoming a small time blogger now this is again not something which everyone can do i'm not saying this is a this is a very common phenomenon as as it is in digital marketing but anyone who has even a slightest amount of interest in writing 
or who can actually create a presence for themselves over the internet blogging probably is a good way to start off just to see what sort of audiences you can gain for yourself this is not about branding this is not about advertising this is just about self marketing if i can call it that so blogger bloggers can actually generate a lot of income as well from advertising and and affiliate marketing and there are a lot of technical aspects to it and our webinar doesn't uh, today cover all that but again it's not about that uh, at this point the only idea behind starting out or having a scope in digital marketing is that because there are a lot of options available you can pick and choose the one you want based on your interest and becoming a blogger for anyone who is even half as good in writing would really help in the future secondly yes you can also start out as a freelancer now this again is a difficult choice to make because uh, some of you might think that how would you get projects or how would you get work as a freelancer the best thing to do is well make so small time approaches to people make small time approaches to small small to medium size industries startups take small time projects for digital marketing campaigns or social media campaigns and try out your hand on them for a little while you might not achieve success again it's the, the the way to instant success is not there at all and there are no shortcuts to it so you might have to put in a lot of efforts initially but that's fine once you put in the efforts i think the results are are there for you to see it might be something you want to have uh, to plan long term but that's all right as well you can always plan a little long term you can start out as as i have said by taking small social media marketing projects and see where it goes from there but it's a decision you have to make at the end of the day keeping in mind where you want to see your career go because being a freelancer will have its own advantages and disadvantages and of course working full time also would have its own advantages and disadvantages so either ways it works very well as long as you know what you're doing again you can have your own agency as well which well again it's a, it's a it's a long shot it's a big shot but if you do have the money and the resources for it and you have a clientele which you might have from earlier which you can use from your other fields or sectors that you have worked in fair enough you could still do that but again that is something which maybe only a few people will be able to do it's uh, it's still an option for people who can who can run agencies who can take up projects nowadays because we are so digitally inclined a lot of our projects are not just coming from india they are also coming from abroad so there is a there is a potential open market for getting projects from countries like us uk and lot of other european countries as well where you could actually approach people take some projects gain some experience and then keep working so all these options are always open for you it depends on the choice you want to make and of course it depends on the ambitions you have in terms of having a career in digital marketing now the next one is of course learn and earn well digital marketing has a scope for you to pick a specialization of course i have i have been saying this you have a lot of options in digital marketing so content marketing you have mastering youtube you have uh, seo you have scm and lot of other things that you can do so you can pick one you can learn it well you can get yourself trained well in it and then of course you can make that as a career choice every career choice again will have different uh, results different consequences and of course the uh, abilities to earn and you know the abilities to work would also be different but at the same time that is still an option that you can take to master one field and it always helps to do that of course if you can master everything in digital marketing well nothing like it but in the beginning it might be a touch difficult to do that so it's always easier to pick one pick one field and try to master that field the next point which is extremely important regarding the scope of digital marketing is that everything is online these days and one of the things that people have asked me is you know to get into a career in digital marketing whether it is really viable for me to do that because 
I know nothing about the field and I have I've given a very simple answer it's not about knowing the field I think you can always know a field you can always study a field that's not the difficult part the difficult part is understanding how to work in a field because digital marketing as a field being very vast and being very wide might also test you on a lot of levels it might test you on the level of creativity it might uh, test you on the level of being able to be uh, uh, you know more prevalent in terms of selling things to people making things believable making campaigns designing things uh, in a way that they work best there are a lot of challenges out there but the good thing is that a lot of activities are happening online these days right from people buying products and selling products online to even services being offered online apps are be becoming more more and more prevalent so everything is becoming digital now and hence that field is opening up more and more channels for you to explore which actually makes it very very good for anyone who's getting into digital marketing right now the scope just keeps opening up and of course because of the increased demand more and more users are online as we all know we spend a lot of time online ourselves so it's you know whether it is whatsapp or or any other platform for that matter we are always online so the demand for marketing services will also increase in the coming years so everything in a way builds up to be a good field and this is probably a good time to be in a field like digital marketing because not just the options which are there which are available to you but also the fact that everything is more open and everything will have uh, a chance for you to try your hand at of course the success and failure of it apart but you can always try your hand at it right okay let's move along okay what choices do you have within the scope of digital marketing now and this is where we were going to come along at the end of the day so this is very very important for you guys now please remember that digital marketing has a, a lot of options what i have presented to you right now are the primary options which are available to you in the field and well the ones which have a lot of scope so i have tried to minimize the effort of uh, giving you 15 choices and just i i've tried to give you six choices which i feel are the best ones to pick right now okay so again going one by one with all this what do you have here well you have a role as a digital marketing manager you have role as a web developer or a ux developer social media executive and i have been talking about this uh, for some time now seo expert again something which is in very good demand right now ppc and sem expert again something which is doing very well and content marketer content marketing is something which is really on the upswing at this point and anyone who can do content marketing or anyone who can be a part of content marketing will do very well in the future but we'll go from slightly from the left hand side so digital marketing manager now this is a, a role which requires you to know a little bit more about digital marketing so it's not that you could just learn the basics and get into this role that will be a little difficult for you to do i'll be very frank but once you do work for about a year or uh, maybe an year and a half in digital marketing this role actually can be taken up by you with good amount of success a digital marketing manager will handle all the campaigns of any brand that he or she works for and it's a very responsible role by the way it's not a role that is that just requires you to strategize and plan everything and then push it ahead to someone else it requires you to do a lot more in terms of creating innovative concepts presenting the concepts to the clients talking to the clients getting approvals and a lot of other things so undertaking digital marketing campaigns improvements in websites and lot of other things are supposed to be done by a digital marketing manager but it's a very challenging role it's a very good role which anyone can take up provided you have some experience behind you 
so it is not something which you can instantly take up you might require at least 10 years of experience to go with it secondly let's come to the web development part or the ux part now this is a little technical uh, i am not sure most of you would be aware of it some of you might be i don't know but yes uh, anyone who has interest in designing websites developing websites because websites will remain one of the most important aspects of digital marketing even today and even tomorrow because a website is the nucleus of your marketing please remember any anywhere in digital marketing even in the future a bad website will get you nowhere so uh, having a good website having a well developed uh, website is very important in digital marketing and hence anyone who has knowledge of web development or ux user experience or even the ui part of it the front end part of it actually would do very well in this field but you would have to have technical knowledge of a certain things like html css so this is only applicable or this is only advisable to people who have had previous experience in the field or who can learn it everything can be learned please make sure that you don't close yourself up when i tell you something is technical because even if something is technical it can be learned okay so this is still a, a viable open option for a lot of you social media executive yes it's one of the most popular uh, positions uh, which is out there right now in digital marketing anyone uh, you know who has even the slightest uh, experience of using social media well things like twitter facebook instagram pinterest and there are a lot of other platforms out there so as long as you can use the platforms you can use them well you can uh, work around them you know the technical aspects of it you can be a social media executive uh, again you will have to learn a bit of it it's uh, not as simple as it sound uh, sounds but i think to brand something on social media is a little different from you know posting a picture or posting a status message so it's a, it's a slightly different uh, cup of tea but something which can be learned and which can be done and there is a very high demand by the way for social media executives out there so if you can learn social media and you can apply it in a more creative way this actually opens up a very very big uh, you know very big opportunity for you SEO expert, yes, something that people still require. Uh, a lot of people require their websites to be rich in content. Uh, keywords have to be put in in different ways. A uh, lot of things have to be done to improve a website in terms of writing, right? And that's where SEO comes into the picture. Anyone who knows good SEO can work long term in digital marketing. one downside to the career in seo uh, is that it's a little it's a little boring than something like social media you will get to do a lot of creative things on social media you might not get to do a lot of creative things in seo but seo is technically very important and if you can learn it and if you can work in it if you have the interest well that field is still open for you PPC and SEM expert yes you are supposed to manage a lot of keywords you are you are supposed to manage a lot of landing pages you are supposed to do paid campaigns on google you are supposed to handle adwords again something which is technical which requires some experience about at least uh, about 3 to 6 months of experience to get into this but if you can do it and if you can do it well an option which is always open to you most of the seo uh, aspects and the ppc aspects go together so you can also have a dual role of being a seo expert and an sem expert so if that's a choice which is there for you in a startup or a, in a retail organization well and good if you can do that but again as i said it is not as interesting as maybe the seo uh, the social media part of it but if uh, if the interest level is of not much concern to you then well that's a choice you have and finally well content marketing now this is uh, probably something which requires you to write a lot of stuff because it requires and it deals with content so 
to get into content marketing yes you need knowledge of impeccable knowledge let me say of english language and a lot of creativity and i mean that in the strictest way possible if you are creative as a person uh, just in general because some people are creative some people can write a lot of good things they they are creative by nature if you can do it and if you are creative this is a very very important field for you and a field which can actually get you a lot of good benefits in the future and content marketing is going to go only higher from here it is uh, it started out a little slowly but now because there is a lot of importance for creativity in every sector from uh, it to retail to any other sector and of course you have the advent of social media so everything is going together and the written part of it the content part of it is gaining a lot of importance because that's what connects with people and to make that connection you need creativity so anyone who can do it and who can do it well probably will have a lot of scope but you have to be a little creative right so these six options are the primary options you have in digital marketing there are a lot of other smaller roles and a lot of other uh, sub roles that you have to each one of them but these are the broad vision that you have or in terms of roles and you know in terms of what you can do in digital marketing so i have tried to keep it very simple and i have tried to keep it very very minimum for you in terms of choices because at the end of the day you you will have to choose from either one of these what sort of role you get depends on your experience and what you want to do but these are some of the primary things you will have to look into in any case right okay let's move along okay so again something which a lot of you might be thinking of you know doing in the future working as a freelancer now what happens and what do you do and what are the advantages like a lot of people would ask me so these four points again let's go one by one the good thing is while you work as a freelancer uh, you get to choose where you work so unlike of course having a job you aren't working you know on a certain time on a certain day you know in a certain office so that makes it you know a, a very big advantage for you and that actually also makes it a very very flexible option uh, for anyone who's starting out or maybe who's restarting their careers as most of you are probably so a lot of you might have commitments apart from your work and apart from your career so if you do have that then this is an option which you can ex actually explore for a little while gain some experience and then take your decisions in the future secondly you also choose whom you work with so you can actually you know end up targeting smaller companies bigger companies individuals whatever you like now the kind of projects you take you know depends completely on you you could take up seo projects if that's what you know you can take up social media projects if that's what interests you you can be a uh, a writer a content writer you can get into content marketing if that's what interests you so all these options put together also work as individuals in their own sense in digital marketing and that's why this field is actually such an open field because everything will have options and as per your own interests and as per your own principles and time and flexibility and everything you can choose to work with anyone or any brand or you know any agency you also have better work prospects by the way so by again by getting involved in your freelance uh, you know work whatever you do you will gain better work prospects you can gain a lot of experience and you can gain experience in different ways because as a freelancer you're not just doing the project you're also taking the project so you are talking to the clients you are having meetings that also gives you a lot of good experience you will get projects you will execute the projects you will uh, you will have different timelines and of course you stand to earn a lot more than you know what what others might earn working in an agency so everything in a way works in a positive manner for you 
of course uh, let me also tell you in a you know just on a as, as a side note working as a freelancer or starting out initially might not be easy it's never easy I, I, you know working as a freelancer is never easy you have a lot of challenges working as a freelancer to get projects to execute projects you have uh, payment follow ups and lot of other things have to be done but at the same time what it gives you is uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility it gives you a you know a sense of independence which is very very nice and it it gives you a sense of choice which is very rare these days and not every field would give you that so for example someone doing it or it consulting might find it very difficult to do freelance work but anyone doing digital marketing would find it easier to get work so there is also a difference of the field as i have been saying right from the beginning and as i as i just mentioned the the final point here very often it comes uh, you know as it comes to freelance work you can sometimes earn a better wage purely because you set your own prices so that's a big thing uh, you know for anyone who is working with a little bit of experience as you go on you can decide your own prices you can quote your own prices you can decide to work on one single project or project or multiple projects whatever it might be initially the difficult part might be getting you know the work getting the projects but once you have done that i think the flow would start you know going one by one and then of course it becomes easier so it's just the first step which is always tough but once the first step is taken then the second third fourth and fifth become you know a smooth sway, sailing as it goes on okay so working as a freelancer has its own advantages and some of you can actually take this up in the future i hope so right let's move on okay working full time this again will have its own advantages and we are going to have a look at those okay so working full time in digital marketing uh, anyone who's switching their careers or you know getting into this career for the first time this might be of some interest to you now the good thing about working in digital marketing field as such uh, as i've been saying is that every sector is open to digital marketing and hence the opportunity to work with a company of your choice becomes way more open than any other sector so you can choose to work with a kind of company you like uh, some of you might like a startup some of you might like a retail company like a flipkart or an amazon or some of you might like an mnc uh, you know uh, like the bigger mncs that we have in it and all the other sectors but everyone has a digital marketing team within these days and hence as a result you have many more options to choose from uh, to apply to get a good role and then start working uh, within those uh, you know those brands and companies if you are starting out again working with a digital marketing agency can be a great learning experience something which uh, can teach you a lot of things as you make a career in digital marketing it's fairly easy for anyone to start out because at the end of the day you have to learn something and then make a start but once you have actually made a start to sustain it in a long term and to make a good career in that field you have to explore different areas of that field and luckily <clears throat> in digital marketing because every sector has a digital marketing team within these days you get a chance to explore it you can work in different teams you can work in social media team for a while uh, then you can make a switch and work in the planning uh, team for a while then you could also work with the seo team for a while so you have a lot of these options open the good thing with working full time obviously is well you have a you know a fixed income coming in and that's that might be important for some of you going ahead the good thing about digital marketing individually is that because the field is growing your salaries are also growing and it's on the upswing right now so what people were earning 2 years back i think it's almost doubled in the past 2 years now so everything is steadily going up in this field which makes it very very interesting for anyone who wants to take this up 
and once you gain experience trying different roles you can get into the senior aspects of roles in digital marketing which again comes down to being a digital marketing manager or a campaign manager or anyone or, or the strategist uh, as they call them you know in in a lot of companies so digital marketing as such uh, would make sure that you have multiple options and whether it is full time or part time whatever you select those options remain open for you so nothing closes everything remains open it's just about the choices that you make uh, in the meantime i believe i have a question from uh, okay sapna and there is another one okay okay so couple of questions from sapna sapna i'll just come back to you okay uh, we are just uh, you know marching towards the end of the presentation now so you know the area for questions will uh, become open but anyway uh, coming back to this slide so working full time will have its own advantages with of course uh, you know uh, an option to work as a freelancer the good thing about digital marketing is that there are uh, many sections and subsections and they all remain open for you so you can explore everything select the one you like and keep working on it as we go on right okay now this is a very very important question which i have been asked by a lot of people switching your careers how do you switch from something else to digital marketing and if it is easy to do that right now uh, let me tell you one thing switching careers into anything uh or any field for that matter is not easy it's not it's not an easy thing because you are used to working somewhere else and you are all of a sudden making a switch to something else it's not easy but yes there are ways and means to do that so uh let me give you some very positive aspects of switching your career into digital marketing and why you should actually do that first thing is there is low competition what do i mean by low competition see the digital marketing industry is still gaining momentum so we are there uh, as a field uh, we have done a lot of things but we are still improving and we are still in search of good people and we are still in search of good concepts so the industry is still moving ahead and right now at a very rapid pace so people who are working in the digital uh, field are still quite low because the awareness is also quite low uh, forget about the metro cities because we know a lot of things in in the metro cities so we are always aware of different fields which are there and we try to explore them but as you go uh, you know to the tier 2 and tier 3 cities you will find that there is a lot less in terms of awareness that people have even about digital marketing so as a field it is still getting momentum which makes it a low competition field which makes it easier to get into so it's all related to you know from one factor to the other which actually works in your favor if you want to get started into this second thing is because it has low competition it has abundance of jobs and that is something which is very very good about this field right now you have more and more money being spent by all the brands on digital marketing so as more money is pumped into digital marketing you need more people to do the job so you need more people for social media you need more people for seo you need more people for every aspect of digital marketing covered together so more professionals are required in this field there are more jobs in the market for digital marketing only thing you need is to learn it well to master one aspect of digital marketing and to start working in it thirdly it has a secure future there is no escape from digital marketing right now and that and for a long long time i can tell you this for a long long time there is no escape from digital marketing we are going to do this for a very very long time in the future and hence it has become the present and future of marketing so as we go on doing this we we'll need more people we will keep needing more people professionals will have to be a part of it and hence it has to go on the circle will go on in the future which makes it a very very secure field to be in and finally it's very easy to understand right 
so when i say easy to understand i am not saying that it's 1 2 3 but it's fairly easier to understand than most other fields which are more technical and which are more complex digital marketing uh, is actually very simple in terms of creating a concept and selling a concept to someone so it's as simple as doing your social media that you do every day but of course with a little twist because we are branding something so there is a slight twist there but at the end of the day doing your digital marketing campaigns is as simple as doing anything online that you do so the options are always there the switching of careers will be easier for you guys if at all you are trying to do that the good thing is everything right now is positive there is a secure future in the field you have many options the jobs are increasing uh, you expect it to go up because everything is becoming digital now we we are in the digital age you know the digital india uh, thing which has come up it's only expected to grow further so this probably is the right time to get yourself started in digital marketing as a career whoever you you know uh, whoever you are or whatever you might have done earlier probably this is the time to get into it right okay let's move on and yes how do you actually get it going what what do you do this again is something which is very very simple 1 2 3 okay now before i explain the learn churn and earn i'm just going to be a little uh, slightly boring and explain you these three points that i have mentioned here look if you want to be successful in digital marketing as i have said the start is extremely important how do you take the first step matters the most and i think i have always believed in it and it's not just about digital marketing it's about any field that you want to make a start into it's the first step that matters and it's how you take it that matters first thing is learn the right way now it's very important that you learn digital marketing before you get into the field digital marketing is again as i have said is not about posting things on social media or uh, just doing things uh, you know digitally or online uh, that's how most people put it but that's not correct digital marketing has a very very strong base of building a concept and then selling a concept so it's a two way street and it has to be learned well right from the start so it helps to gain good knowledge through good learning and then you can make a start within this field successfully very successfully at that second point which i believe i have uh, emphasized right from the start and i would again like to emphasize is if you really want to make a good start in digital marketing and you know just to see or just to test out a few things as you go on it's important to manage your own profile manage your own brand do a bit of self marketing that is the best way to know if you can actually do marketing you know whether it is digital or otherwise if you can market yourself you can market anything else and that's a concept most of you should believe in if you get into this field in the future if you can do self marketing and if you can manage your own brand and talk to people as confidently as you talk to your friends maybe then you can do digital marketing because it opens up a great avenue for you in terms of having that confidence and positivity thirdly it's very very important to ace social media just make you have to make sure that you know everything about social media social media is going to be the the most important used you know tool in the future of digital marketing so as you go on learning about digital marketing social media will hold the edge and the more you know about it the better it becomes for you so the mantra behind this uh, to get going as i have said is very simple learn churn when i say churn that means that, that churning of uh, knowledge has to happen within you and then you can start earning out of it so learn churn and earn is what i would advise you guys to do it's a very simple concept it can be done in a more simple manner 
it's always important to make sure that you learn things the right way make a slow but steady approach within the field and then make your choices and luckily for you the choices are there it's it's an open field as i have been saying so a lot of things can be done okay right and this might be of a lot of interest to some of you so i'm just going to put this out for you this is uh, well this is what you're getting paid these days you know to be in digital marketing now if uh, if you were wondering whether you know you can earn good money in the field the good thing is you can and this is what shows it to you people like amazon mindshare ibm flipkart everyone will have their own salary structures but the salary structures are going up now so that's you know that that is a very very good thing in terms of earning more money if you are getting into this field okay uh i have another question uh, okay so uh, this question is by uh, nayana okay so nayana i'll just uh, come back to your question we are uh, almost towards the end of the presentation now so these are well my final words so we are almost there towards the end and then i'll be taking up the questions okay so again just my final words before i end the webinar or the presentation for today i have been saying that this field is a very open field it's a it's a field anyone can be in and i still maintain that by the way um <clears throat> but you have to know the skills well and i think uh, the the first thing i want to tell you is uh, make sure that you learn the skills well uh, and it's not about just learning it from anywhere you you need to learn the skills from people who have been in the field who know the field and who can teach you the you know the finer points of digital marketing because that will help and learn as much as you can before you get into it uh, don't ignore the importance of a test run and when i say test run i have always said brand yourself you have to start by branding yourself make sure that you you brand yourself effectively to other people do a lot of networking speak to people uh, make sure that you talk to a lot of individuals from different industries what it does uh, as an individual is that it creates an atmosphere for you you know and then a lot of things can open up so once you have that headway into something you can actually make a lot of things work for you so digital marketing is a field that is on the upswing you have options to work as a freelancer you can work full time in the field you can do multiple things you have multiple roles depending on your interest depending on your skills you can take up different roles and do a lot of different things and which is what works for this field in you know in the long run so again uh, this is just uh, the last part of my slide now you can connect with me to any of these options or of course through jobs for her okay. thank you so much omkar thank right? you jaldi yeah